joys of a hotel room coffee. Thank God there's a Starbucks downstairs. Morning guys, looking a bit rough. Uh, so this is Friday morning. This is when I'm actually going to Harry Potter World and I'm ecstatic. So I just spent the last week at like a work conference. We did a lot of training, we did a lot of workshops and it's been pretty exhausting. Uh, like getting up this morning was a little bit rough but I'm so excited that I can't wait to leave. I'm actually going to leave on a shuttle at 7.30, so it's like 6.13 right now. I wanted to get there early enough to, I know there's a Starbucks there too, if I need more coffee. I wanna get coffee there. And I really just wanna walk around and take photos and video. Um, you know, you can't go in the gates until nine, but outside is gorgeous too. And I'm gonna try to vlog. We'll see how this goes. I, I think I've tried vlogging like once or twice and the footage was like, huh, yeah. But I think I can do it. I'll actually be going um, by myself. My coworker was going to go, but I think she had to go home early. So uh, it's gonna be me. I think it's gonna be a lot easier to do that if I'm not with anybody. <laughs> so we'll see how this goes. I'm actually, so I'm at my improvised makeup station. I know I said I wasn't gonna wear anything, but I would like to put stuff on over my SPF and my skin has been acting up. Whenever I travel, my skin kind of freaks out. So I have a breakout over here, I have one right here that was pretty bad, and a couple little ones down here. But I see that whenever I travel, and the longer I travel, the more I break out. And then whenever I get back home and kind of get back into my routine, like I'm fine. I'm not sure why that is. But yeah, so I'm gonna do just a little bit of makeup. I'm gonna get changed. So my outfit that I'm gonna be wearing, I'm gonna be wearing like workout leggings and my Toms, my Toms knockoffs. And I, I'm probably just going to throw on some kind of beater shirt because I know 100% for a fact I'm going to buy stuff there. And I really want to buy like a nice like long sleeve shirt or something just to wear like in the park and then to take home with me. So I know I'm just going to be changing. Odds are. So I'll probably just keep this shirt on. I mean it's just like a, a nightgown kind of thing. Because I know as soon as I get to like the first gift shop, ooh it gone go. <laughs> So let me finish getting ready and then uh, we'll go. Tickets again, or yeah, you can take it to the trigger. Yeah, you feel in hotel keys, or yeah, 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 yeah,
just me. I have to record my first Butterbeer even though I look like a hot mess. Weird, but good. Like it's cream soda. It's cream soda. Mmm. <laughs> when I had a back. Uh, Monica, I can't believe you would show your fears here again after what you pulled. I take it things didn't end well between the two of you. She didn't get me a butterbeer. Really? She promised. I drank it. Uh, but she's a slivering, so are we really surprised by that? This is why I have trust issues. It's because of her. 
Well, now, what brings you up to the night of us today, Monica? I was hoping for a selfie. What's the policy on selfies? What's a selfie? So it's when you point the camera at yourself. Why would you do that? Because there's no one else to take a picture. Oh, so they can do it themselves. Yeah, Fascinating. Selfie. That's a selfie. Uh, that's, I see, I was confused and Muggles would say selfies. I'm like, I don't know what that means. Wait, so what do you call it when you take a snap of someone else? <laughs> it's just the photograph. So it doesn't have a cool name attached to it or anything like that? There might be. Well, I thought it'd be like a group B or an upper B. I like it, we're coining it, we do, okay, I think we'll work on it, we'll work on it. But yes, we would love to take your selfie. Yes, that's right. But there's all three of us, so it's more of a groupie, right? It might be. It might be. So all let's right. see, how many can we get say, Hey, look, it's my face, Shrunkinate. <laughs> look at that. Do you see it? What? Oh, no, wait, now I'm gone. See, look, it's my face. <laughs> wait, but I can't see him when I'm looking at I think him. I look like a raisin. Oh. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I wasn't gonna say anything. Okay, that's cool. That's we're cool. Being, we're being nice. Yeah. Uh, well, what do we do for it? Do we just look at it? You just look at it and then you smile and you do a little piece. Piece. A piece of what? A piece of your fingers. Well, do I don't want to give them my fingers. I'd like to keep them myself, if that's all right. It's only borrowing them. Borrowing them? I don't know. <laughs> Last time someone borrowed something from Amy, didn't get it back. I really uh, did try my best to look alive. Is, is this working? Uh, it's working pretty well. Oh my goodness. Well, here, let's say magic. Magic! magic. Hi guys, so I'm finally back in my hotel room and relaxing a bit. It's been such a fun, long, but exhausting day and I've literally loved every minute of it. So like I said, I'm back in the hotel room and I'm like actually editing through some of the footage that I caught and I realized I didn't really do a formal end to this vlog. So I thought what better way to end this vlog than with a haul. So I'm gonna show you everything I picked up in Harry Potter world. So the first thing I'm wearing, so I have this Hogwarts alumni shirt. It's adorable. And I also have my Slytherin prefect badge on because work hard, do well. I've got that on. And I also picked up this extra large. I bought this like three sizes too big because I really wanted to use it as a sleep shirt. This really big Hogwarts, just black sleep shirt it looks identical to the sleep shirt i was wearing this morning except it has hogwarts on it yeah <laughs> so i picked that up i really wanted to get a couple of just like hogwarts themed things so i was very happy with those two i'm gonna jump into i only bought like one novelty food thing and that was a chocolate frog so i'm surprised it didn't melt it's still in here don't know if i'll eat it tonight or not i don't know if i could take this on the plane with me <laughs> um but I really wanted to get the trading card. So the trading card that I got was Jacunda Sykes. And she's listed as the first ever Atlantic broom crossing. So I guess the first ever witch to ever, or witch or wizard to ever cross the Atlantic on nothing but a broom. Next thing I picked up, you know me, you know, I got a wand. <laughs> I went through and in the footage you can see I actually scanned through all of the wand wood types and what they meant and I really felt that a wand made of elder was best for me. So I got an elder wand and it's got a skull on top. This is, was an interactive wand so I did go to a couple of the places on the interactive map. I did only one of them in uh, Nocturne Alley where you could try to unlock a door, but I didn't really want to jump ahead of the kids, you know? I really bought this because I really wanted a wand to display and to have. I never bought a wand before, so this one's mine. It's actually, let's pull them out. Ooh. Oh, you hold it like this. Oh my God, I love it. You see that little thing? It would actually light up if you were in the interactive areas. Ah, ah, but I'm actually gonna like display this. I didn't buy one of their display. They have wand display things and they're like $40. I'll make my own wand display case. Thank you very much. So I also picked up a wand for my little brother. Now he 
doesn't pick up his phone or answer texts. So I texted him, what's your favorite Harry Potter character? Cause I was gonna pick him up a character wand, right? He didn't answer. So I got him Professor Lupin. I thought it fit. I thought it looked nice. It's a very nice practical wand, right? And I thought it was cute. And if he doesn't like it, I'm going to take it and keep it. <laughs> So I got him Lupin's wand and this one's not interactive. It's just one of the character wands. None of the character wands that had or were based on the wands for a certain character in the movie were interactive. All right, so this one I'm actually most proud of and I'm so excited. So if you've seen my last, or I don't know when this video is going up, so one of my past weekly wows and a previous video as well, I brought in my boyfriend's corgi, Rex. And Rex is a Hufflepuff adorable and i found a keychain with this cute little hufflepuff tie on it get out of here i'm gonna put this on his collar so he can wear a hufflepuff tie i know right oh my god it's so cute <sighs> so cute so yeah i'll probably just like attach the key ring itself to his collar and see how that works out but it seemed like the perfect size and length for him to actually wear as a tie. I'm so excited. Okay, so this next one is the only one I'm pretty sure my best friend might see before I actually get this to her. So Brooke, if you're watching, stop now. I got my best friend an order of the Phoenix pin. I thought about getting her something from the newer set of movies, but I wanted to get her a cute pin she could pin onto like her work jacket or onto her purse. So I got her an order of the Phoenix pin. Next for my boyfriend, I got him two pins. Uh, so I got him, he's a Ravenclaw, so I got him a nice little Ravenclaw pin right here. He likes wearing scarves a lot and carries like belts and bags and I thought maybe he could pin this to it. I don't know. I just wanted to get something Ravenclaw for him and something Hufflepuff for, for Rex. Cute, right? And then something I thought would be like an adorable couple's costume, right? I got him a head boy pin from Ravenclaw and I got myself a head girl pin from Slytherin. <laughs> so yes, I do have the prefect and the head girl now and he has the head boy. So I thought like, you know what, if anything, we could wear them together <laughs> or we could put them on display or something. I just, I really thought that was so cute to get a head boy in Ravenclaw and a head girl in Slytherin. And they had these pins everywhere but you know what the head boy in ravenclaw was sold out in like half the stores in universal i had to traverse universal to find this pin <laughs> but i found it so there we go i didn't pick up too much so that's the end of my universal haul i i had so much fun i was so glad that i was finally able to make it here after years of wanting to go like back in high school when the park opened, I had been dying to go, and I couldn't go until now. So 26 year old Monica is very, very happy for the 16, 17 year old Monica that really wanted to go. So thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. I really hope you liked it. I put a lot of work into it and I had so much fun doing it and I hope you guys liked it. Let me know what you guys thought down below. Thank you so much again and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.